and probably you will hear from them when you see their projects, their dreams that they're pursuing. You will see that they have found what they love to do. And in a way, you could say this is pretty easy. But what we have learned is that it takes about two and a half to three years until somebody learns to find out what do I really want to do and stop doing the things you don't want to do. For some of us, it takes even a bit longer. <laughs> Time doesn't matter so much for that. So when we look at the world today, we can need a lot more of what we call bridge builders, peacemakers, community builders, people that can bring other people together. Because there's a lot of wars going on, and it's not just the physical wars, but it's the emotional wars. It's the places where we are just shaken because we don't know where we're going. And a lot of the systems that do not serve us and do not serve the world, they are crumbling in many ways. And the new solutions are not here yet. So this is a weird time of, on the one side, knowing that the things that we relied on, they're not working anymore, and the new structures are not here yet either. So we're stretching somewhere between two paradigms, you could call them, two worlds, two situations. So what to trust, what to build on. And these four people, they have been learning about how to do projects. They have been learning about how to create a business. Some of them have started their own business. Some of them have started processes to bring people together more as a community or a tribe. And they have been pretty good at helping a group of people to gather around something that they are passionate about. And that's probably the most inspiring group of people that you can gather. It will shift and change over our lives. All of them have looked into how do I want to live my life? What feels important? What do I want to do more of? And what would I like to move away from? And I think what this corona situation is teaching us is that there are no things that we can just take for granted because it can all change in an instant. We were just a few weeks ago in a hotel in Ottenboden, Bernice Oberland here in the Alps. And the manager, she told us, she said, in one day, from her bookings, from her clients, there were so many clients pulling back with the value of 450,000 Swiss francs just in about seven hours, all pulling back. She said, I, didn't, I, I just didn't know what to do. So it's one of those moments when you just realize, whoa, you just follow a line and the line looks pretty scary. Chaos pilots, they are also scared when they see things like that. It's not that we know what to do. But I think what these people have trained in these last three years is learning to be honest about how they feel. Speak it out. Say, this is what I'm feeling. Because that's usually the beginning of being able to change or move and make next steps. So what you will hear tonight are a few stories a few of these dreams that have started to emerge and be manifested. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing these four people moving out into the world, keep doing what you're doing. And you will also have the pleasure here tonight to see a few others who have been walking this path for a few years already uh, and what they have made out of it. <coughs> so I think what I'm most proud of is this community that's just been growing uh, in the world, here in Bern, all over the place, of people that have the courage to live into what they are curious about, what they believe in, and what they try to make happen. There are no guarantees for success, but it usually comes out pretty well when you just start trying. You keep having people around you that help you to do that, and I think the Chaos Pilot School, the way we grow it over the last 10 years, has been one of those projects. So learning to grow things and just keep trying, moving forward, and having a lot of people that help, uh, that has been what we
we would say our secret has been. So with this, I'm very happy to welcome you to this celebration, to this graduation, and handing back to Jonas. The Chaos Plan from Team 6 and moving from a rather safe space at the Chaos Planet to burn to the real life. And then moving maybe back to the country, so they're staying here to work on different projects. And in the world, there are at the moment quite, quite a lot of Chaos Planets, especially from the Danish school, but also from the Swiss school. And all those stories of those people, they're very individual. Um, and today we have one story here. Frederick from Sweden will share his story and what he has done after the Chaos Planet. Um, he's a social entrepreneur from Sweden and he's, uh, he founded Suffering in his third year at the Chaos Planet and he's still working there. Frederick? A little bit about myself and also what I did in the third year. And then I was going to speak some to what I've learned in the chaos pilots. But sometimes the challenge with being the second to speak is that someone else always speaks your speech. <laughs> I graduated in 2016 with my third year project, Sapling. And I'm still working in Sapling today. We, at the time in 2016, saw that there is a crisis in the world. There is always a crisis. It shifts, but there is always things that we need to help them. And so we had the big refugee crisis of 2016. And we just saw how there were two opposites in the world, or in our society. There are the ones that say that, no, it's not our problem, and it's all their fault. And then are the ones that say, no, it's not our fault. We need to bring them in because it's we are at fault. And we just felt this polarity somehow. And we didn't really know, so how, what would we think about it? And so we thought the only way that we can really find out how we think about it is to get in there. And so we said, we, we want to support what's going on right now. We want to work with these teenage refugees and offer them what we see is best in this time. And as I said, something is still around today, but the refugee crisis is kind of lowered. And that's also part of being an entrepreneur to see what is really needed right now. And so today, something that I founded together with two partners are more focused on working with supporting victims of domestic violence. And that has also grown. So now we are basically supporting everyone who's been a victim of violence and that needs some kind of support. So we offer them housing, practical support, mental support, whatever is needed. Our main focus at the time when we started that was to support people that are victims of domestic violence due to honor related. So a lot of people from the Middle East. And we just saw that these mainly women, they need support because they are not part of our society. So how do we bring them in? None of us were social workers when we started this. In Sweden, you need to be a social worker to work with this, they say. But you don't really need to. You just need to look at, so what is the problem here? And so we identified two big problems. One is this feeling of isolation when you leave your family. Especially coming from a culture like in the Middle East, where your family is like part of your body. So how can we support that? And then we saw, well, we need to offer them a place where they can live together, like a collective, to break this isolation. The second one was, well, they get stuck in these houses because they don't have a job. Some of them don't speak the language. And at least in Sweden, you need to have like three times the rent in salary to even get an apartment. So they're stuck. And so we needed to do a lot of work on how can we solve that problem? And then we founded a big 
the landlord in Sweden that has apartments in a lot of cities, and we managed to convince them that if they just stay with us first, so we are on the contract, and we support them and help them get settled in the city, then they can take over the contract, even though they may not have work, because we have welfare in Sweden. That is not considered salary normally, but we managed to convince them. And so then we can offer them to actually take over the apartment that we have from the beginning. And so that's how we got started. And so how the word spread that we can actually solve the cases that are just stuck somehow in the people. We started working with this target group in 2017, and now we are at client 99. So we have one more before we make it to 100. And uh, Mati asked me as well to speak. So tell me, what, what did you learn? What are you using when you come out of the school? I'm saying, what the heck did I learn? <laughs> and I still wonder what the heck did I learn. And I think, I'm sure some of you do too. And I think that's the beauty of this education is that many times you don't know what the heck you're getting yourself into, but you have a way of getting through it. I was asked to hold a speech today, and I was thinking, what the heck am I going to say? But somehow, where does this come? So it's this mindset of whenever there is a challenge or a problem, we have the tools and the capacities and the people in this network to just make it through somehow. And I think that's the beauty of this kind of education. Because we focus not only on learning specific skills, practical skills, but also in building the trust in ourselves that we can actually face whatever is happening and somehow move forward. And there is a lot of focus as well on building this understanding of our we Because if we're going to make it through whatever is thrown at us, we need each other. And especially right now, we have all the capacity to work through whatever is thrown at us, as long as we remember that we need each other. And so, I just want to say congratulations to Team Six. Welcome to the club. <laughs> and, uh, wish you a beautiful night. And if there is anything you ever need, we're a family now, so we can always speak to us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for your story, Robert. And um, we have been uh, in the Emmental to conclude uh, the three years together as a team six and last week, or it was this week actually. And we made a, a big timeline of what the, the students from team six uh, have experienced in the last three years. It was a, a huge piece of paper and there were a lot of names on it. So, so many people. Um, have been in your, in your circle, have been and part of your, of your journey. Not of, all of them can be here. Some team leaders are here, Sam, Cedric, the other staff members. But some couldn't be here or cannot be here, but they still want to send your greetings. And I would like to show you two videos of two people that have been a very close part of your education. Mm -hmm. Hello, Team Six. Congratulations on your graduation day. This day has finally come. I wish I could be there in person. I'm there in spirit and I meet with you all, all the time, if not every day. Um, there isn't a group of people that I've met that I just fell in love with like that. And just to carry with me, we're definitely that. Um, when I think of what you've done, completing a parents' pilot education, not easy, so, so brave. Uh, we have the world, most of the world doesn't even know what this education is. You took the leap of faith and did it and excelled in it. Completing CGT, same thing, no small thing. Um, you passed from that, beautifully, I'm sure. And then you can see why you were forced to do it or really strongly advised to do it. Um, and I, when I think of you completing and graduating from the chaos pilots during the global pandemic, I just have 
so much gratitude and so much hope and so much joy because you have the skills that you have because you become the people that you wanted to be um, and the world needs you the world needs you so thank goodness thank goddess thank life that you're doing this that you've completed and you're ready to come join us and help solve some of the world's most complex problems so i hope that you can look back today and think about all the people that you met and connected with, all the problems you've helped solve. Um, no small, no big, how hard, how easy, all of it. Take it all in. Um, and think of all the events that you've helped put together that have touched people and that have helped to the people that then touched those folks and so on. Um, because now you get to do it all on your own. Congratulations. So, so proud of you all. I hope you celebrate you today. Which is a lovely from MJ. And of course, also, it's probably a picture to take that speech. I'm just going to say, congratulations for officially their assignments now. Although I don't think that you always work, or in the office, or now you're in the office. And um, <laughs> still have that seat. So I wish you all the best in your future endeavors and wherever your journey takes you in the world. And um, lots of love from guess where? If you're feeling the swimming hill and your own bars on it. So where is it in South Africa? And um, have a good evening. <laughs> so today we will celebrate music with a lot of words, with a lot of gratitude, but we will also celebrate um, the music and we are lucky to have you on with us today.
Einstein to hear the words of Team Six. Consulting teams in the healthcare, in palliative care. That's the network where I come from. I'm very lucky to have these people who I get the job already during my education. That was very nice. But how I came to this, it was like in these three years I discovered that I am always in this houses and in the healthcare system especially you move from house from hospital to hospital speed text of always in the houses and i grew up in the in the campsite in a farmer hand in a farmer craftsman family and i realized i was always outside and now not anymore I disconnected from this nature. And so this came to, this became my project, reconnect to nature. And when I dive in to what does it mean, reconnect to nature, why I feel this deep inside, what is behind this, why I need to discover this. Then I came up with my project Sarkin Top, Seed and Beat. Nature inspired leadership. That's I discovered in this last years um, amazing tools what I can use for my coaching consulting business, and these tools are all inspired from nature. And I also try out tried out some tools and for example biomimicry. That's probably for many people a new word. For me, it was also. And I am very fascinated of this tool or method and also the council guide training, CGT, and many others. So um, I, as I dived in more deeper, I discovered how interesting nature is how I can use this intelligence for my work, for my future work. And so my journey has started and will continue many years, I think. And how it will end, I don't know yet. So this curiosity is um, a good thing. I am looking forward to go this path. And Look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. I already can imagine what this means for the future. Thank you very much. <laughs> Stepping into action very fast, and uh, that's been very good. 
here on Zoom. Hi guys. Hi Dong Yang. Hi people. Um, Hello. Hello. <laughs> that was Dong Yang for those who don't know. Um, okay. I'm Cindy. I'm a member of the team that is here at the Chaos Pilot Switzerland. Um, and to begin to tell you what I did with my third year, I'd like to invite everyone to stand up. If you want to do that, for those of you in the computer, you're welcome, but the activity may not be as fruitful. Let's see. And in silence, I'd like you to take a few moments to look around the room. Look at the people in the room, specifically. And please move your bodies around like that. But slowly, Observe who you're sharing a physical space with. Try to notice something you haven't noticed about someone since you arrived at this event this evening. And just take stock. Just observe. And maybe once you've done a full circle, you're welcome to find your seat again. My intention of my third year with the Chaos Pilots was bringing people together to experience connection, inclusion, and the power of the uniqueness that they hold inside of themselves through their gifts and through who they are simply by being. And the way that I did that was by using process consultation and systems thinking methods in the fields of disability, self-advocacy, and inclusion. My family has a very long history with disability inclusion. It began in the late 1970s in the United States. That's a story for a different day. But it's something that has always driven me in my career, since graduating from university to this very moment. I'm very, very passionate about human rights, but specifically the rights of individuals who have abilities that look different than mine or yours. And so this was the big red heart of my project. This is a big red heart of me and who I am. It's something I eat, breathe, and sleep. And how did I weave that into my third year? Well, I came up with a lot of research design plans. I came up with a lot of learning design plans. And I thought, I know exactly how I'm going to execute this. Because I have a timeline. And I have a month by month breakdown that tells me what I'm going to do and when I'm going to do it. As a chaos pilot, you very quickly come to an understanding that life seldom works the way you want it to. And thank God, this is an education that gives you tools and um, tools and skills and methods and approaches um, to, to face those challenges and that chaos that comes with life. So I started an internship in October with an organization called Rayos Partners based in Geneva. And Rayos Partners are experts in um, systemic approaches to change. They hold 25 years of experience in um, multi-stakeholder processes that support people who are facing deep complexity and challenge. And for the last eight months, this has been my training ground as a process consultant 
as a chaos pilot and as an activist for people with disabilities. I had the intention in the spring of using what I had learned through my internship with self-advocacy groups around Switzerland. And these plans very quickly came to an abrupt halt with um, coronavirus. Many of us know um, people with disabilities are considered a vulnerable population. And what they experienced during coronavirus looks very different than what we as um, residents of Switzerland experienced. They experienced a lot of seclusion, a lot of barriers and isolation in the places that they live in order to protect them. So that looks for me like letting go, accepting that my plans were not gonna work out, that I wasn't gonna hold physical spaces with these people that I cared so deeply about and test out my tools, but it also brought with it a really beautiful opportunity. And that was um, me stepping into my work with Greatest Partners, me bringing the wholeness of who I am and what I'm passionate about, what I have knowledge in and carry an expertise in to my organization. And um, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about who I am and how I wanna show up in this world. A lot of that has come from people in this room, some of whom you may have shared eye contact with briefly a couple minutes ago. Um, but it's also come from the education and the curriculum of the Chaos Pilots. My amazing teammates who have stuck it out until the very end, um, my loving and supportive family and partner. Um, and it's also come from Rio's Partners. Rio's Partners is one aspect of my future, but I'm very excited to be continuing as a full-time consultant with them in September um, with the idea and the understanding that um, wherever I go in my life, I am bringing all of me. I am bringing my wholeness into every space that I enter, and I'm not afraid of that. I'm excited to um, continue advocating for people with disabilities, to continue learning and growing as a female entrepreneur and um, process consultant and um, the future feels very bright and bold despite the, the times that we're all facing um, and navigating together as a collective. So that's a little bit, that's a very small amount of what this third year looked like for me um, and I'm sure my teammates as well. But thank you all so very much for being here with us tonight. I'm looking forward to having more conversations, especially with people I don't know. Um, and thank you, Monty, for the school and for everything. I have school. And um, what I can 
See, now I will read the text. It's a little bit that kind of holds the paper, and it's in German. Yeah. And I think it's the, like a mantra, a mantra for my life. And um, this Gedicht heißt Leben lernen. Von der Sonne lernen zu wärmen. Von den Wolken lernen leicht zu schweben. Vom Wind lernen Anstöße zu geben. Von den Vögeln lernen Höhe zu gewinnen. Von den Bäumen lernen standhaft zu sein. Von den Blumen das Leuchten lernen. Von den Steinen das Bleiben lernen. Von den Büschen im Frühling Erneuerung lernen. Von den Blättern im Herbst das Fallen lassen lernen. Vom Sturm die Leidenschaft lernen. Vom Regen lernen, sich zu verströmen. Von der Erde lernen, mütterlich zu sein. Vom Mond lernen, sich zu verändern. Von den Sternen lernen, einer von vielen zu sein. Von den Jahreszeiten lernen, dass das Leben immer von Neuem beginnt. Yes, sir, you can, you will hear from me. <lacht> to raising you guys. You've come into this organization, into this playground and this dojo with all of us, and it's been a pleasure to have you. So we would love to call you one by one up here and get your diploma and then walk your way through here, getting some first congratulations from the people that have been working with you I've been learning with you in time. So, to begin with, I would like Andrea Kelly to come up here. As the next person I would like to call, here's kind of basic color.
Here we go. Thank you all for a beautiful support round and a big applause also for all of you who again and again have supported these people in making their ways through. Because we have a saying at the Chaos Pilots, you have to decide every morning if you want to be a Chaos Pilot. It's not enough to just say you're signing up for a free year. So thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Be well, have a beautiful evening or morning, wherever you are. Enjoy, hooray. Thanks for joining, Dong Yang. Ciao, babes. Hello, hello. Enjoy, city. <laughs> Thanks, Dong Yang. you guys. Yeah. We'll miss you tonight, but we'll be sure to drink some gin and tonics on you. The we love you. Love you, Mom. Love bye you, too. Bye. Nice job. It was awesome. Thanks, girl. All right. We love you. Me too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Emmett, are you there? <laughs> Bye. Oh, Dong Yang. Have a good night. Have the best one. Hey, Pato. Enjoy. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Also, tschüss. Ah, so tschüss. Ciao, Emmett. We don't know if you're there. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to talk to him before, but I think he's left it on. Cheers! Yeah. <laughs>